How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Shaving with Surge. And I want to thank you guys, man, for joining me on another shave. And today is a very special shave, man. I'm excited because I got it. I got Guns N' Roses from SMG Soaps. Received it last night and uh, we've been looking forward to this. I am so happy and stoked that John actually went through and made it for me. I was, uh, it, was a sh it was a shot in the dark, man. And you know, I reached out to him. It was, a, it was an idea given by Brent Conrad in one of my other videos in the comments. And he had talked about mixing, uh, it was a midnight stag when I used it. And he talked about mixing uh, some gunpowder into a uh, rose soap and calling it Guns N' Roses. And I was like, dude, do you mind if I use that idea? And he said, no, go right ahead. And so I reached out to John and um, John said, let me think about it. And John came through, he did it. Look at the, look at that label, look at that sticker. It, is, it just came out beautiful, all right? And uh, this is rose with a hint of gunpowder in the background. Let me show you that bottle, the after splash as well. He did the matching splash. This is a super, super limited run. Only 12 sets were made. And so, you know, I know I mentioned before in past videos, some people said they're in and, uh, you know, those they're gonna get a chance to buy it before the rest of the sets are released. Um, John did an uh, awesome, what I thought was an awesome, awesome touch on it. He did, he put in a guitar pick. Come on, that's like the cherry on top, a guitar pick to scoop out the soap. It has his logo on it, SMG Soaps. All right, and uh, come on, what is more iconic than this band to me, in my opinion? Guns N' Roses, dude, they, I get such nostalgia feelings and I still get goosebumps anytime I listen to them. You know, this brings me back to being a kid. This reminds me of my uncle as well. And I bring him up because tomorrow's his birthday. Um, RIP, he's been, he's been gone for about 10 years, but anytime I still listen to them, it reminds me of my childhood and him. And um, dude, what's more iconic than these guys? Come on, Slash and that top hat and that cigarette and his guitar solos, his guitar solos, he spoke through his guitar solos, you know? Um, to me, he has some of the most iconic solos that when you hear them. Uh, all right, and uh, so this, this, this soap, I get floral and then it's a nice palette cleanse because that gunpowder comes in the background and it, it comes off as, as like a spice almost. So literally it's just rose, essential rose oils and uh, gunpowder. And it, it's, it's, it just came out beautiful. A beautiful, beautiful tribute, all right? Look at that, one more time. And honestly, I am not a floral guy. Like to me, when I smell most florals, they remind me of granny florals uh, type of thing. They remind me of being, a, they also remind me of being a kid, but they remind me of like old lady teachers and stuff. And you know, just granny florals. And so I, when I do use florals, I like, like let's say, um, Two Kings from Noble Otter because that is an oud floral and it comes off more as an earthy floral. And so I like that. This one right here, this gunpowder to it, it just it just manlies up a floral, you know? You know, you just, you just gotta, man, you gotta man up a floral a little bit. And what could you man it up more with than just a little bit of gunpowder? And I'm excited, I'm gonna show you that label again. It's a nice medium scent strength soap and uh, it's blended beautifully. It's not overpowering whatsoever. There's some soaps that I have smelled that gunpowder and they kind of like burn the nostrils a lot. The gunpowder is like a little overwhelming. This is right in the background. So it just comes off as a nice spice. And what I refer to and like to think of as like a palate cleanser for me, just a little bit manly, more of that, that floral scent, you know? It came out really nice, medium scent and shrink. I give this like a six. A six, so it, it's really cool. I played with the lather earlier. I did have a little reaction, I'm gonna be honest. Um, I did get a little red, so uh, it, it went away after like 15 minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna come in with the cube. So uh, I'm gonna try the cube, brand new cube, and just, I, I got an incredible lather though. I posted it up, hope you guys saw it, with just like half a teaspoon full of soap. I had this voluminous lather. I'll post a picture right here. Cause I'm not gonna do that much. That was like three passes of soap all at one, it, you know. But it, it created, I, it had such beautiful peaks. I hope I get to recreate that lather again because I do sometimes struggle with my bowl lather. All right, and uh, I'm Razor, the Sprecker, the Sprecker, the Blue Power, 
the classic Spanish point, mother of pearl inlays, upper gems, monkey tail file work, 10 eighths, half hollow. I think the last video I, I used this, I said quarter hollow. It's a half hollow. And boom. For the brush, this is gonna be a longer video, guys. For the brush, look at that. The smiles for miles. This was made to pair up with this razor blue synthetic tip. I'm finding that I like synthetics. They just work better for me more when I'm doing a bowl lather. And so I've been actually using synthetics a lot often, or frequently now, because I've been focusing on bowl lathers. And that's so weird, before I was all bad or didn't even want synthetics. You know, it's just, the more you, things change up, you know, just just like style for me, I guess haircuts and what I like changes, you know? And that's good, always evolving, you know, not staying the same. Um, I'm gonna lather this up and I'll be right, right back. guys, and I'm back, man. Like this, this, a little soap goes a long way in this base, you know? It's a vegan based soap and a lot of their producer earlier and I was playing with it was extremely nice. I've never used a cube before, so. It'd be the first time. I use this as well. Huh. Wasn't expecting it to be black. <laughs> but it should make sense, right? It is black. All right. <clears throat> like I said earlier, I just want to be upfront and honest with you guys. I did react a little bit to the soap, but it's not going to stop me from using it. It is just too cool. Look at that. Again, Guns and Roses, man. And I can actually add a little more water to this. Someone in the past recommended me with another soap that I had a reaction to, to try the cube. So that is what I'm doing right now. And actually I'm gonna wet these tips a little bit. There's a scent, lathered up. It just, it's, it's nice. I'm enjoying this. I'm really liking it. I could actually smell the gunpowder just a tad more when it's lathered up, and I actually really like that. Like I said, I'm not a floral guy, so. The fact that the gunpowder is there to just man up the scent a little bit, I really enjoy it. And I could have actually hydrated the soap a little more. <sighs> All right, and I'm gonna go with that for the first pass. I want to hear a little something more. Right here, a little more fast pace. Terminator soundtrack. Here we go, cheers. I can't see, let me move this hat. <laughs>
Such a cool style from Guns N' Roses, man. I could have. My first time using the cube, I could have hydrated that cube a little bit more. I'm scraping off the cube a little bit, it's a little gunky. But uh, it is protecting me, so maybe that's good. I don't feel the tingling I did as much the first time, or maybe my, you know, I just have to get used to it, I don't know. Dude, I'm actually loving the set the more I use it. Oh, that's so cool. So I just wanna thank you, John, again for doing this. I really appreciate it, man. You guys have no idea how cool this is to me. And you know what? I'm gonna go for a second coat. Got myself a weeper. <sighs> Not too, uh, That's uh, not too uh, normal for me with a straight razor, but it happens, right? I'm gonna add a little bit more water to this this time. Another spray. There we go, there. Yeah. Those peaks. <sighs> All right. Here you go. Second pass. Today's Saturday, you know, and uh, super stoked to get the shave in and use the soap. Gonna go on to have dinner with some uh, couple good friends later on today, so that's looking forward to that, man. Uh, restaurants have opened up here to like 30% occupancy. I got a pimple right there that I caught. <laughs> um, Thirty percent occupancy, and um, so excited to sit down in a restaurant again. It's like life is uh, getting back to a little being normal again, you know? Yeah, that little bump right there—I caught that.
Me and my uh, straight razor jump. Whatever it was, it's gone now. <laughs> Guess I had to uh, offer a little, a little sacrifice to the guitar gods, right? All right, let me uh, let me rinse off. All right, guys, in the back. Finish it off with a third pass. Blooping everywhere. And as you can tell, if you can tell, I, I am, you know, I did have a little reaction to this, so. But everybody's skin is different. Everybody's face is different. Different. So I hope uh, you guys give it a try. Support John uh, over at SMG Soaps and, and pick up this soap. I'm definitely going to still use this. Because just because my skin's being a little bitch. <laughs> it's not going to stop me from using this awesome soap. Like I said, everybody's face is different. Skin is different. This is my face today now. Then take two doesn't mean yours won't. So I still hope you guys uh, don't let that scare you away. Or my blood. That was a that was a scab, like a little pimple scab and I swiped it. All right, I'm gonna rinse off again and I'll be back for the splash. Hey right, guys, and I'm back, man. Put my hat on, my hair's all messed up. <laughs> and uh, did, a, did a little touch ups out, off camera. Here we go, I'm gonna go with that after splash, shake it up. Just a little whiskey bottle here. This floral and gunpowder, man. Very, very manly. And I uh, hope you guys have a good one, man. I'm out of here. <laughs>